welcome ladies and gentlemen my name is Kid Lee and this is going to be the Datacron guide for the planet of Corellia now for this planet you will need the MGGS from Aldron if you don't have it check out this link the first Datacron is a plus four to willpower and is located in the incorporation island area uh, from the spaceport you can basically work your way to the southwest and you're looking to make your way to this location where I have my character listed uh, as a reference point you can see where the track kind of curves around and you're looking to get right here what you're looking for is basically getting yourself to the edge of this building now as we're at the edge here you can see the datacron is over here sort of out in the middle of nowhere on this on this track line and what we're looking to do is coming out of this pipe here there are these baskets that will go along in this direction and then work their way up and past the pipe and we'll have to basically drop down onto the basket now the best advice that I can give is you can line yourself somewhere up along this ledge and you can see how the ledge is sort of two-toned so your feet are sort of half on the light and half on the dark now we can see the basket approaching here you'll want to jump you know before the basket because the basket's moving forward if you aim directly for the basket you're gonna miss it so you'll want to aim before the basket and you'll need to use some camera control because there might be some pinballing that's going on and I'm actually gonna scoot over a little bit and there we go now this uh this jump here can also be a little difficult you want to make sure you don't miss the ledge we'll see what kind of angle we got here once we get a little bit closer I think what I'll do is just do a straight jump off this side right about now and there we go go ahead and grab your datacron the second datacron is a blue matrix shard and is located in the southeast corner of the labor valley just go ahead and follow the road down until you reach this point. From here you'll see what appears to be a blue door. Go ahead and go through the blue door and it was a projection. Go ahead and make your way through this area and if we take a look at the map you'll just make your way basically all the way to the end. Once here you'll notice the datacron up on these boxes up here you'll go ahead and just jump up and grab the datacron the third datacron is a plus four to strength and is also located in the labor valley area taking a look at the map the area that you're looking for is sort of to the north or slightly to the northeast of the imperial war camp you can see where i currently have my character listed uh, there's sort of this curve in the road is what you're looking for now this is one of the datacrons that they have changed a little bit there used to be a shortcut on this one but they have since removed the shortcut so once you reach this area what you're looking for is this sort of sideways pipe go ahead and make your way up the pipe maybe and then we'll scoot over to this cloth and then what you will need to do is we you'll want to jump on this uh, sort of moving spaceship All right, and there we go on that so the ship will basically make its way back over to this area over here okay we're finally making our way to the other side here had to wait for it to get a bit closer and then we'll make our jump yep that's all the closer it's getting 
There we go. And then we'll just jump down here and run up this beam. It's a little bit of jumping going here. This one does have a, a gap. Okay, and then here we have another slow moving lift. Go ahead and jump up on this one. And from here, we're trying to get up onto this box, and then we can basically jump our way because the Datacron is back over in here. Alright, there's that. Got another steel beam back here. And you can go ahead and grab your Datacron. The fourth Datacron is a plus four to cunning and is also located in the Labor Valley. As a reference point, you can use the Republic Base, and it's located all the way at the top of the map. You can see where I currently have my character located. What you're looking for is, again, at the top of the map, there's sort of this curve or bend in the road. Once you reach this area, you're looking for this giant pile of debris. Go ahead and make your way up the pile, and there is a piece of metal that you can sort of ride up and do a little jump to get on top of a rooftop. From here, just go ahead and make your way along the rooftop. Jump up onto the next one. And then onto the third one. And just keep making your way around here. A lot of rooftop on this one. Until you reach this point where you have sort of a, there's a pipe on fire and then uh, another pipe. Alright, from here we'll switch over to on foot mode and we'll jump up onto this pipe here and just slowly make your way along here. From here, we'll jump up over onto this area and make our way across this roofing. Now, from here, you'll go over to this side and you're looking to make your way down into this area. So, I think what we'll do is we'll sort of back up here and we're going to do a jump off the side. There we go. You can go ahead and grab your Datacron. The fifth Datacron is a green matrix shard and is located in the Axial Park area. From here, you're looking to make your way to this building here where I currently have my character located. Now, when you're coming from the Imperial train, there is no straight shot over to here. You basically have to make your way up and through these buildings then over, through the zoo, and then down and around. So once you get here, you can go ahead and enter in the building they have here. It's sort of their aerospace museum, I think. And you can go ahead and take the sort of hidden elevator up to the rooftop. From here we have a shuttle that has landed and you'll actually want to make your way up to the top of the shuttle and get up onto this wing. From here you can basically jump off onto the roof. And from here we'll make our way along this way and there's a, another rooftop down below there and we'll make a jump to get down here. And you can go ahead and make your way along this rooftop. 
We'll actually go ahead and mount up here for a second to make it just a little bit quicker. And then off in the distance, you can see a magnetic stabilizer. Now this one was broken in the past. You'd have to sit here and hit it and hit it and hit it and it would never work. But they got it fixed. So it should be a one-shot deal now. You send over your spidey grappler and you land it. From here we'll make our way over this way. And you'll have to jump up onto this next roof. And we'll go ahead and mount up for a second and go inside this building. And just make your way around the turns here. We'll take a look at the map here real quick. Make our way up this path and you can see the glow of the Datacron. So just hop up this box and this one and grab your Datacron. The sixth Datacron is a plus four to aim and is located in the government district. Once you reach here, you'll see that where I currently have my character located and it's just north of the business sector. You can kind of see there's a little building shape here and then there's a road that curves around so you're looking for this area right here. Once you reach here you'll see a, a bunch of debris and a couple of buildings. You're looking to go in between the two buildings here and there's this sort of broken down structure in the middle. Now this has got sort of a, a damaged lift that works its way up and down this basically waiting for it to get back down and then we'll be able to jump on top of it. Alright, the lift is finally making its way back towards the bottom here. Once it gets a little bit lower we'll be able to make our jump. A little bit more. And I'd say when you make your jump you try and shoot for the wall just so you don't sort of over jump it. That yeah, looks pretty good. And it's going to stop right there, actually. And there we go. I was just have to wait for it to go all the way up to the top here. Alright, as we're finally making our way to the top here, you'll see there's a, a container up here. Make sure you do not click on that container until you are ready. And I'll explain what I mean by that here in just a minute. You can kind of get hung up or glitched on this a little bit, so you have to be a little careful. I think we'll try and make like a single jump up there, and hopefully... Alright, good. So, okay, so what the objective is, is you're going to use this container to basically blow yourself up and fly all the way over here to where the Datacron is. So what you'll want to do is sort of line yourself up here, you know, maybe switch over to a wider angle, you know, make sure you got a good flight path over there. I'm going to try and maybe angle just a little bit more like that, so I'm trying to hit right in here. Alright, we'll go ahead and we'll blow it and give it a shot here. Ow, that hurt. And go ahead and grab your Datacron. The seventh and final Datacron is a plus four to presence and is also located in the government district. From the uptown area, you'll want to work your way north until you reach this point here. Basically, there is a building and you will work your way through the building until you reach this point here you can kind of see there's some cargo boxes now this datacron is one of them that's been completely changed uh, there used to be a deal to where I think you went over to this corner and you dropped down below you went underneath this and you walked down like an invisible area so you don't do that anymore so you'll basically start where I have my character located and you'll make your way to sort of this this graded area and there's a, a Jedi protector out here We'll go ahead and we'll just 
force push him out of the way here. And what you're looking for is you're looking for these these sort of pipes that stick out on the edge here. So try and make your way onto the railing. And we're going to go ahead and use my precision drop method on this one. So you basically just jump up in the air and hit back, jump back, jump back. And just keep doing this until you find your way onto the first pipe. And then down below there's a silver pipe. So you can try and, try and center yourself out a little bit and then just do the same thing. And there you go. And then from here you're pretty much home free. They've moved the Datacron to this area.